Hello guys, welcome to today's presentation. I'm going to do something on indices. Uh, this is a collection of uh, KCSC questions that um, I'm about to handle. And um, I want to thank all my subscribers for always coming back uh, to watch uh, the videos that I post. Um, in our today's presentation, this is a form 3 topic and uh, we normally um, look at KCSE questions. Uh, I have got three questions under this uh, topic that I'm going to handle. So stick close and make sure uh, you learn something by the end of this presentation. Now the first question reads, without using a calculator or a mathematical or mathematical tables evaluate 49 raised to 3 over 2 we multiply by you open the bracket 256 or over uh, 2401 you close the bra you close the bracket raised to three quarters so that is the question that we have that is the question that we have we want to work this question out first of all um, when we have a number raised to a fraction the denominator we are going to find the uh, if it is the square root we are going to find these two means we find the square root and uh, therefore here means we find the fourth root so under this we are going to find uh, the uh, square root of 49 then the result we get we are going to raise that to a power 3 we multiply by now the fourth root the fourth root of uh, 256 we find the fourth root of 256 or over uh, the fourth root of uh, 2401 and then the result we get we raise it to a uh, power 3 now what is the square root of 49 two numbers that you can multiply uh, and get a uh, 49 as your result uh, they are 7 7 so we take 1 which is 7 and then we raise the result to power 3 we multiply by the fourth root of 2 uh, 56 is in fact 4 so we get 4 and then we divide by uh, the fourth root of 2401 it is 7 now uh, the fraction we have we raise it to power 3 we can go ahead and rewrite this by saying it is 7 raised to power 3 we multiply by 4 raised to power 3 and then uh, this is the um, um, denominator 7 raised to power 3 uh, we can write that um, we can write the expression this way or we can go ahead and say um, we want to say it is 7 times 7 uh, times 7 then times 4 times 4 times 4 then we divide by the denominator which is 7 times 7 times 7 all these 7s are going to cancel we cancel then we remain with the 4s uh, the our deno as our numerator now 4 we multiply by 4 uh, uh, 4 multiplied um, um, by 4 by 4 it is going to give us 64 so we can say the answer is 64 or we can write this in its simplest form by saying it is 2 raised to power 6 when you use prime uh, when you write this um, as a product of its prime factors it is going to give us a 2 raised to power 6. That is it. That is the first one. The second question we have, it is 25 raised to, uh, uh, 25 raised to x is equal to 1, 25 raised to 2 thirds. Then you divide this by 5 raised to negative 1. Um, we are going to follow the same procedure. But in this case, we want to make the basis um, look alike like now. We want to use 5 as our base, as our common base, both on the right hand side and on the left hand side. So the two numbers we can, mult well, we can multiply for us to get 25, they are well known. These are 5, you multiply by itself. That is 5 squared. We are going to say now it is going to be 5 uh, squared now. It is 2, you multiply by the x we had here. Is equals to, uh, now we are going to find... Uh, the cube root, uh, we find the cube root, the cube root of 125. After finding the cube root, the result we get 
we are going to square that result then we divide by 5 raised to negative 1 in this case uh, we'll remain with 5 raised to uh, uh, 2x on the left hand side is equals to now the cube root of 125 we all know we, it is 5 then we are going to raise that 5 to power what uh, we are going to raise that to 2 we are going to raise that to 2 um, we are going to raise that one uh, to 2 now after doing that after doing that uh, my pen is misbehaving 5 um, raised to 2 then we divide this by uh, 5 raised to negative 1 now when you look at uh, the bases are the same now we are going to say it is 5 raised to 2x is equals to where we have division we are going to introduce um, a subtraction or a negative sign it is 5 raised to now we open the bracket is it is 2 with minus a negative 1 and when we have two negatives here this changes to a positive so we have 5 we have 5 raised to 2x is equals to 5 raised to um, this is now 3 now these 5 and 5 will cancel because they are common um, they appear on uh, both sides so we have 2x is equals to 3 we divide both sides we are going to divide both sides by by 2 you divide both sides by by 2 so our x is going to be 3 over 2 um, in its simplest form we are going to say x is equals to 1.5 x is equals to 1.5 and that is it x is equals to 1.5 very well now the next thing that we want to uh, look at is uh, question number three that reads solve 8 raised to 8x uh, solve uh, the equation 8 raised to x plus 1 minus 2 raised to uh, 3x minus 1 is equal to 120 we want to do we want to follow the same route of making uh, these bases look alike but when you look at 120 there is no way we are going to make this um, uh, the base on this other side be similar to these other ones let's try that so for us to get 8 uh, we have to get 2 raised to power 3 then we multiply by x plus 1 then you minus 2 raised to 3x minus 1 then this is equals to 120 if you do the prime factors of 120 uh, you will not get the same basis so that is why we are leaving this as um, uh, 120 so uh, we are going to say that it is 2 raised to uh, 3x we are going to split this we multiply by 2 raised to uh, 3 then we take away 2 raised to 3x then we um, multiply by 2 raised um, to negative 1 is equals to 120 up to this point um, we can see a common factor here uh, which is 2 raised to power 3x so we say let 2 raised to 3x uh, to be what to be y where we see 2 raised to 3x we uh, replace that with y so we are going to say it is y you multiply by 2 raised to power 3 minus y you multiply by 2 raised to uh, negative 1 is equals to 120 the next thing we want to simplify this and say it is 8y minus 2 raised to negative 1 is the same as a, a half so we are going to say it is y over 2 is equals to 120 we find the LCM on this side the LCM is 2 uh, 1 goes to 2 how many times um, twice so 2 times 8 is 16y minus uh, this is the same as y is equals to 120 16y minus y it is going to give us 15y over 2 is equals to 120 we multiply this by 2 on both sides by 2 to eliminate the denominator 2 and 2 will cancel we have 15y is equals to uh, 240 uh, when you do the division on both sides so by 15 by 15 y is equals to 16 y is equals to 16 so we all know we all know that we all know that 
um, y is equals to 2 raised to 3x, but in this case, our y is 16. So we are going to say 2 raised to 3x is equals to 16. We make the bases alike. So we are going to say 2 raised to 3x is equals to 2 raised to power 4. So the 2 and 2 will come. So on this other side, we remain with 3x is equals to 4. We divide by 3, we divide by 3. So x is going to be 4 over 3. Uh, in its simplest form, we can say x is equals to 1, uh, 1 over 3. x is equals to 1 and 1 over 3. Thank you for watching. Um, if you are very new, continue to subscribe and share this video widely. Thank you so much.